Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Sunday, March 21st. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up having a very nice day. Ended up winning the play of the day video with Ohio first half plus four at minus 110 on FanDuel. Was really, really dicey. I know Virginia was up by about seven with, I think, three in minutes and change in the first half. Ohio hit a couple threes. They were down exactly four with the last shot, hit a three-pointer with about three seconds left in the half and gave us the win. Plus, Ohio ended up winning the game outright. It was a pretty predictable upset, I guess, because a lot of people, I think, had Ohio in that spot. Uh, really just a bad spot for Virginia, having to play without practicing for about a week, then practicing once on Friday with a bunch of Zoom meetings in between. And it, it was really just a bad spot for Virginia. And Ohio ended up advancing to the round of 32 as a result. So we won the play that video, plus in the pick uh, contest with uh, Scott Steen and with David Hess, we ended up having a very nice day yesterday, went 19, 10, and 3 uh, for plus 7.24 units. So now we are in the green, and that is pretty solid compared to the fact that we're picking spreads and totals on every single damn game. But I actually don't even know what the standings are right now. I'm pretty sure I might be winning. But either way, still very early, happy to be entering the round of 32 in the green, and hopefully we'll pick up um, another winning day on Sunday. Before the play of the day, we're going to be looking at a matchup taking place at 6.10 p.m. Eastern time between Texas Tech and Arkansas. And for the play of the day, we're going to be taking Texas Tech on the money line at minus 112 on DraftKings, time recording of 2.09 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like Texas Tech in this spot. First of all, there has been a lot of line movement up to this point. Texas Tech went from around Pickham to minus one and a half, even a couple of minus twos popping up um, uh, on some of the offshore markets. Now, the reason why that's significant is because of the fact that Texas Tech is the sixth seed, which means that the sixth seed is favored over the three seed in the spot. And if you look at some historical trends, that is definitely a profitable uh, endeavor to take the sixth seed in this spot. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, if Texas Tech has the inferior seed, why is it favored in this contest? And I'm going to tell you, first of all, Texas Tech has the better offense, ranks 31st in offensive efficiency. Arkansas ranks 35th. That is according to Ken Palm. Now, I know that those two are very close. However, Arkansas also plays at a very, very fast pace as Arkansas does end up ranking 17th in offensive tempo. So this team will love to go up and down, really doesn't play in the half court too much. And you saw that in the first round game against Colgate that turned into a track meet. Now, I know Colgate ran into gas. The game ended up going under, but Arkansas ended up having a ton of transition opportunities, and I do think you will see uh, them try to do that in this matchup. However, Texas Tech is the opposite. Texas Tech does rank 315th in offensive tempo, and I'm sure Beard knows that if they want to beat Arkansas, they got to keep the Razorbacks in the half court, and I do think Texas Tech will do a great job of getting back on defense and forcing Arkansas into some long possessions in the half court. And simply put, that's really not Arkansas' strong suit. This team loves to play in transition. It has played in transition all season long. And if it's going to have to play in the half court pretty much the entire game offensively, I think Arkansas is going to have some serious problems. And Texas Tech has proven, ranking with a better efficiency than Arkansas offensively, I think Texas Tech will be able to find some open looks against Arkansas offensively and force Arkansas into some pretty difficult shots in the perimeter, which is why I think Texas Tech's offense should be able to have a lot of success in this matchup. But looking at some other factors here, Texas Tech is also better in the turnover department. It is better at turnovers forced per game and commits less turnovers per game. And I'll go through the actual numbers right now. Texas Tech ranks 20th in the nation in turnovers forced per game. Arkansas ranks 39. So both of them are pretty good, but Texas Tech is better. And the main disparity is in the turnovers department offensively. Texas Tech ranks 24th in turnovers per game. Arkansas ranks 176th. So in other words, Texas Tech is better at actually forcing turnovers and has the much better ball security in this matchup, which I do think is a perfect storm for Texas Tech to really take advantage of some extra opportunities in what should be a close game. As Arkansas wouldn't surprise me, we saw it uh, last night with Texas and Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian forces the most turnovers in the entire country, and Texas turned the ball over 22 times. Now, I'm not going to say that's going to be the same situation in this game, but if, if Texas Tech turns it over, let's just say 10 times, and Arkansas turns it over 15 times, with a spread of about one and a half or so, you're looking at a game that should come down to the wire, maybe one possession decides it. And if you get a couple of added shot attempts there, that's huge. And I simply think that Texas Tech will do a pretty good job of – really just taking care of the basketball and forcing Arkansas into making some mistakes. And I do think that is why Texas Tech will win the game. But looking at some trends for this matchup, Texas Tech is 4-0 ATS in its last four NCAA tournament games as a favorite. And Arkansas is 2-5 ATS in its last seven NCAA tournament games as an underdog. So for all those reasons, I think this game should be close. But I think that there is a reason why the six seed is favored over the three seed in this spot. And for that reason, 
I will be taking Texas Tech money line and minus 112 on DraftKings as the play of the day. That's been Solomon Scott's selection. Go to all of you and your respective best today. Bye, everyone.